see me? Wait. Please, I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. They're coming. Who defaced the pages of this manifesto? This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. Sovereign water from the commissary. Go! Well, is it? Not the defaced manifesto. Well, is it? Tell me, or I'll tell them. But you are them. <gasps> I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Child, where is it? Where's what? I did not call for please rock. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have to check it out. It's not like that, Derringer. I can handle this plea call myself. Look, I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. It's been contaminated. These are the words of Zager. Zager is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Murray? What? That's not enough? The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We are taking I her I didn't to read anything! I am child, Derringer. You will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. And watch your step. Watch your step. You ever shut up? Bring her a blanket. I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. As we make our final preparations, we must be extra vigilant. Recent events have brought us the capture and killing of a man whose sinister, disgusting actions caused no small amount of grief. You know who I am referring to. I will not speak his name again. But even though he has been eliminated, other threats remain. Just tonight, another tree. 
poisonest was intended to infect the minds of our youngest and brightest with lies, masquerading as divine text. This Mimeo apostate will be dealt with in the same manner as the one who inspired him. Keep a watchful eye out for our Republic, my friends. And in return, she will watch over you. difference. There's no way you can help me from there. You're just another pair of eyes watching me. Did you do that? Did you open the door? I don't know who you are or how you're doing this, but somehow you found a way into this place. Can you help me find a way out? A good reminder, use the cameras to see what's in the next room. Hello. Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. My name's Cooper. I am communicating with you in text-to-speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. I am the one who found the phone in the girl's room just a moment ago. I've returned the phone to her because she is in danger and I wish to help her. It seems you wish to help her too. I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. So I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The phone she's carrying is a link, giving you access to our facility's online network. It is called, OmniView. By entering OmniView, you can easily move from one camera to another. To keep the girl out of sight, you'll need to scout ahead for her. The rest I'll explain as you go. Good luck. I'm sure you can, hack it in this place. That was a joke by the way. Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. I once spent some time, stuffed in a locker, 
This may surprise you, but I wasn't very popular in high school. Looks like one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. This is P0 brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl in the bottom left corner of your screen. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. Look, pepper. proceeds as planned. We will not be swayed by cowardly acts of terror. Stricter punishments for traitors urged. I heard the powers that be are secretly hoping for some kind of an attack to justify all these new security measures. And while they would prefer it to be bloodless, I suspect they'll take anything. Perhaps they'll even carry it out themselves to ensure it happens before the arrival. Sanchez. Yes, madame. Don't forget to give her the sodium thiopental injection. Yes, madame. Going into his pockets. I got some. I see you have discovered one of my floppy disks. As a hardcore gamer, I collect many video games. Sadly, my fellow Prisrak torment me by stealing my prized collection. Can you assist the girl in recovering my lost floppy disks? It is not like you have a more important job to do. Recently, the children in Metamorphosis have become more brazen in their attempts to take things from the Prizrak. Surely, this was Zager's influence. with Prizrak. The depravity of this man was boundless. Best to remove the comments section for the online edition. And change shot dead by Prizrak to killed in firefight by Prizrak. This way it suggests he was given a sporting chance. When the surveillance video of this day surfaces, and it will, it's going to require major surgery if they want it to look like justice.
check his pockets. Nice. Few games make us think about the stories and secrets we all keep hidden from others. Gone Home is a beautiful game, one I found myself ruminating on long after its credits. I found myself thinking on the Overseer's manifesto and his crusade for a more idyllic society. Our relationship with technology provides order and control. Yet, even in a place like this, there are things even cameras can't see. Last month, a pre kale got their hands on a canister of pepper spray. They blinded a loyalist Prizrak during routine inspection. A cassette. This looks like an old cassette tape. You may find this difficult to believe. But I am actually old enough to remember when these were popular. I remember seeing an old boombox when we ransacked one of Zager's hideouts. However, with the facility's new censorship system coming online, I suspect most of this Zager end will be suppressed. The man enjoyed his salty language, to put it mildly. Wanted. Well, Derringer and the Overseer got what they wanted. A trophy kill. I'm surprised they didn't drag Zager's body through the facility as a warning to all of the would-be revolutionaries. As a reminder that Kickstarter is, and will forever be cool, I hang this Shovel Knight poster proudly. The box that I keep my video game cartridges in. If I ever get my games back, I'm going to store them in a more secure fashion. Derringer asked me how much money I wasted on this DFA poster. I said it was $10. I lied. Turns out it was $250 on Kickstarter. Worth. Every. Penny. The great thing about Kickstarter is that we can bring back classic games from the past. I remember playing the Shadowrun pen and paper game in my parents' basement. It was kinda fun. I hear it's much better when you play with other people. I was given this award for my loyalty to the Prizrak. Ironic, given the current circumstances. They also misspelled my name.
The paranoia is warranted in this case. A precal once found the key to the armory and stole a dozen tasers. It took seven Prizrak to finally bring him down. Despite being obnoxious, this poster makes a valid point. The girl is less likely to attract attention if she walks softly. This is a battery charging station. Certain Omni abilities will drain the battery on the girl's phone. You'll see her battery life displayed in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Direct the girl to any recharging station to juice up. Collected contraband is up by 47% in recent months. For a secure location, you would be surprised by what we find in their pockets. Welcome. Hey to there, my you just found a data broker terminal. These are located throughout the facility. Any data you collect by scanning items in OmniView can be traded to the data broker in exchange for new Omni abilities. Omni abilities are valuable tools for gathering information and assuming control of the girl's environment. What would you like? Listen in on voicemail messages. Leaving so soon. Good idea. My battery was running low. The Prizrak waged their campaign against Zagor from this very room. The following conversation was recorded two months ago. Listen, Prizrak, calling the man a menace doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Put another team on scrubbing through the footage. I will, sir. Though so far the camera network hasn't been terribly effective. Zeg is a human being, not some phantom. He casts a shadow like the rest of us. And I'm giving you more than you should need to find him. Now, should that prove too difficult for you? No, sir. I understand. Watch your step. Gentlemen, I am not going to explain this to you again. Mireille Prideau can him and haul all she wants, but that is not in charge of security. I am. You transfer copies of the children's fingerprints to my secure server, or you can consider yourself reassigned to the graveyard shift. Going in for the steel. Got it. Let them eat cake. Had Marie Antoinette said that to her teammates during a death match in Fat Princess, she probably would have kept her head. 
In this endlessly entertaining action RTS, eating cake is a means of restoring your character's health. The mission is straightforward enough, rescue a Rubenesque royal, and feed her as much cake as you can carry until she's too heavy for the opposing team to carry her. Irresponsible eating has never been this much fun. A fingerprint scan. It would be terrible if this got into the wrong hands. They would have a lot of power at their fingertips. Hint, hint. This is Quinn Derringer. We've had another instance of someone screwing with the generator over at the power station. I ordered that fingerprint reader installed a week ago. I want it done today, is that understood? Call me back when you get this. And I suggest you give me the news I want to hear. This was the best game I played in 2012, but I didn't stop playing it then. I find myself going back to Journey whenever I need a pick me up, a reminder that life is a journey, that this world is beautiful, that humanity is good, if given the proper rules to live by. The girl has found one of the banned books. The overseer has banned many books inside of Metamorphosis. As the poor librarian upstairs once said, it is better to ban a book than to burn it. Talk about taking lemons and making lemonade. I wonder if there are more books like this one lying around. I've observed you spending a great deal of time in the library recently. Perhaps I should ask the librarian about these indiscretions. Did he give you the poisoned manifesto? If not him, child, then who? Speak! I have been put here to shepherd you. But you must accept that help, or we will both face the consequences.
It seems the librarian has been flagged for suspicion of distributing the poisoned manifestos. I hope the girl finds him before Derringer does. This email was sent more than a month ago. The pre-cal in question, 933W, is still at large. Not surprisingly, the Prezrak who wrote this is no longer with us. The security checkpoints in this facility are always evolving. Yesterday, pin codes were all the rage. Today, it's fingerprint and iris scans. Tomorrow, it will be blood. This is an early prototype for a weapon Derringer insisted we need in Metamorphosis. With Zager dead, I'm not sure who Derringer thinks we're at war with, but he bought 5,000 of these things with money from our annual food budget. Hopefully, they are edible landmines. for you earlier in your little woman cave over there. I shouldn't need to tell you what I found was entirely unacceptable. You were given the added task of overseeing the surveillance monitoring program because I thought you were man enough to handle the responsibility. However, now that I've been exposed to all that in your office, I'm forced to reevaluate my decision. This is a severe behavioral disorder, Cooper. And in its own way, as screwed up as anything Zager tried to do. I expect you to fix this lapse in judgment before I have to come back with a hammer and a trash bag. Well, when you ask me nicely like that, Station 17, this is Madame Prideau. Concerning that pre-cal I had interned 390H, I require more time with this subject prior to her dissection. However, I feel Derringer is bent on challenging my judgment. And after what happened with 933W, I feel compelled to remind you, all children are under my authority. If he attempts to interfere, you will locate me immediately.
you see the door there? That's where I have to go. If I can get to the library, I can find the librarian. He can protect me. Hey, Clark, you can sleep in your desk. Come on, Derringer wants us to lock up the atrium. I had a dream I won the lottery. Yeah? What was the jackpot? Ten thousand. You gotta dream bigger than that if you wanna buy your way out of here. Now's our chance. Let's go through this door. Okay, go ahead and hack it over. Hello, it is Cooper again. You cannot open that door with your current version of the OmniView software. You will need to update your software at a daemon server. Upgrade to version 1.0 and you can open this door. Then, you can get the girl to the library. The nearest demon is in the commissary on the other side of the dorms. I will add this waypoint to your map. Proceed with caution. It seems like you have a plan. What do we need to do? How's it sound? Dear Mr. Derringer, after mentioning this to you in passing, I wanted to send you this letter reminding you of my sincere desire for advancement. I believe I have a lot to offer, and in my current position, I will not be able to demonstrate my true potential. Plus, it's boring. Whenever you have time, I would love the opportunity to discuss my moving to the day shift at greater length. Sincerely, yada yada yada. How's that? There is an ideal we all live by, a pillar upon which all our collective hopes and aspirations are stacked, extending upwards towards a glorious future. We create symbols to give these ideals power, to remind us to look up, to look forward. Today I give you that symbol with an expectation of the greatness it will inspire. We must remain open to all things while still vigilant against the corruptive forces working around us. Let this symbol be our beacon through the long night and let it stand as a testimonial once we reach the light of the sun. <laughs> 